Fortunately, now his answer wasn't the same. He said something like, um, oh man, okay, I needed my cars cleaned by Saturday or something like that because I have family coming in and they get mad or, or they don't like when the cars are dirty. I what is going on, you guys? It is your boy, Businessman Cam here, and I am back with another video. Now, in today's video, I'm pretty much just gonna be talking about what can happen when you miss days detailing in your detailing business. Pretty much just gonna run through how much money I've lost taking days off, why I've had to take any days off, what I tell the customers to you know cancel or reschedule you know some of the responses I've gotten some of them you know may not be as friendly you know having to cancel you know a day or two ahead of time so I'm gonna pretty much run through all of that in today's video I know I haven't uploaded in a few days that's completely my fault I'll explain that uh, you know throughout this video you guys will understand but before this video begins I need you guys to go ahead and smash that like button for your boy comment any video ideas you guys have down below and um, go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already also uh, any tools or products will be in the link in the description below so uh, hopefully you guys enjoy Please stick. Please be sure to stick all the way through for your boy. And uh, yeah, let's get right into it. So pretty much from mid-November to about now, which today's date's December seventh, as the time that I'm filming this. I've had you know been in and out of detailing because of uh, health issues and just some other things going on. So in total, I've said I'd say in the past like two and a half weeks. I've probably missed probably like five or six days not detailing, um, and this is due to uh, not being good in health. Um, I've been sick. I literally, I got sick about two and a half weeks ago or three weeks ago, lost my voice for like a whole week, had to cancel like two or three appointments or reschedule them um, then, um, and then I felt like I was getting a little bit better. And then I, you know, was doing detailing normally. And a few days ago, I got sick again. So I've been having to reschedule stuff. On top of that, of course, randomly, we usually don't have this issue in California. Obviously, it happens here and there. It rains just is never not going to happen. But it's been raining. Um, on the schedule, on the forecast for this week, we have two days of rain and then two days of rain in the beginning of next week. So those three things with the combination of I'm also getting a custom detail set up on the 13th. So I'm going to have to take four to five days off then to um, not detail. Um, you guys probably can't hear it in my voice because I've taken a lot of medicine. I've had to clear my throat, but <clears throat> if you guys heard me an hour ago, you guys will be able to see that my voice is like, it was gone and horrible. And like, you could, it's just very congested and a lot of mucus. How's it going? Um, so pretty much that's all been accumulation of reasons that I haven't been able to detail and it's been kind of janky and also why in a few days I'm gonna have to take like another week off so with all that being said I pretty much just want to give you guys some advice or how I've went about telling customers that I've sorry guys I'm also having trouble breathing um, <laughs> that's another issue that I've been having so if I'm running out of breath I apologize but not with with having all this stuff going on I've had to tell customers that I've had to cancel or reschedule and I pretty much just want to explain how I tell them what I do and you know a few of the results that I've been getting out of you know canceling and rescheduling etc etc so pretty much like I said I've, I've been sick there's really nothing I can do about that so um, usually I, I confirm with my with my uh, clients the day before um, uh, as far as details just so that way I know I should still come the next morning or whatever, or they could tell me, hey, you know, this going on, or if I'm sick, blah, blah, et cetera. So I think I had about uh, uh, like two or three days ago, I had about three clients lined up, or two, excuse me, for I think like $300 that day. So first customer uh, is, a, is a client that I do about once a month. He had no issues at all. I told him, hey, Will, just wanted to let you know, um, I'm not feeling good, my man. I, I really apologize. Um, I'll try to get back to you later this week as soon as possible and try to get you in. So pretty much at first, you know, I told him, hey, I'm sick. I let him know. But then quickly to reassure him because I want him to still feel like he's important to me, I told him that I'll get back to him as soon as I feel better in about a day or two, I'm hoping. And I'll, he'll be on my first, I also said that he'll be on my first prior, priority uh, to get rescheduled um, because obviously he was already scheduled. So he is technically more important than anyone else that has was on the schedule further off. So if I gotta move another person back a few hours a day just so I could fit him in, I'll do so because he is a, a, a regular client and I want him to feel as so. So he had no issues. Now, unfortunately, this will happen. The second client, once I texted him, I texted him the day before, like the, mo um, the morning of the day before. So I gave about a day, a, a full day notice. And I know that's still pretty last minute, but I was kind of waiting because um, I had just gotten sick like the day before that. So I was kind of seeing, you know, maybe I'll feel better. Ended up texting him pretty much the same thing. Hey, sir, I'm very, very sorry. I will have some availability at the end of this week and I could try to fit you in. Unfortunately, now his answer wasn't the same. He said something like, um, oh man, okay, I needed my cars cleaned by Saturday or something like that because I have family coming in 
and they get mad or, or they don't like when the cars are dirty. I don't know if any of the cars are the family members or they just have a family full of people that have clean cars. So if your car is dirty, they're gonna hate you and you're, they're gonna disown you. I don't know what the situation is, but apparently his family wasn't gonna be happy. So he pretty much said something around the lines of like, um, no worries, thank you so much, blah, blah, blah. You know, I, I let him know I'm sick, I apologize, like there's nothing I could really do about it. Took the L, he didn't, wasn't interested in rescheduling at all. I'm guessing because he was already frustrated, so frustrated that I wasn't gonna do it. So, which I, I also understand, but it's like when you're sick or you have a real emergency reason, unless like it's an emergency to get your vehicles detailed, like man, at least try to work with me. That's how I be feeling sometimes, but it just doesn't always work like that. Sometimes the customer is busy and they have to have their car done by a certain deadline so you will get responses like that and in this case i did end up losing a customer and obviously i told you guys next week i have more details coming up so i will be potentially losing more customers probably the most interesting part about this and the most important i guess to really look at and the most interesting thing that you guys will probably want to know as well is how much money hold on let me let this guy go by um how much money am I losing from taking these days off and you know being you're when you're your own business owner this is gonna happen so I want to just tell you guys my potential loss going into this so I usually work about four to five days a week on the low end I'm making about two hundred and fifty dollars on average right I try to work five days a week sometimes even six days a week I'm just grinding with these days off that I've had to take in in total I've taken like a week and a half two weeks off which is horrible in a business but guys, I haven't even been able to breathe. Like I can't go out there and work, you know, with, with, and then it's raining. I'm not gonna waste people's money by washing it and then having it dirty. You know, it just doesn't make sense, right? So like I said, the reschedule, the guy that I was supposed to do, um, I believe he was that job itself alone. The guy that didn't want to reschedule was supposed to be $230. On average, I make $250 a day and I work five days a week, $250 times five days a week is $1,250. If you add another $250 to that, which would be from that other guy, um, so let's say a week off for when, I'm not gonna detail, and then plus that extra guy. That's coming to $1,500 total that I'm gonna be potentially losing out on. And that's the very, very minimum. It's probably anywhere realistically from like $1,500 to $2,500 that I'm potentially losing because I'm having to take a whole week off. And because of my health not being so good and because I don't have a team to keep detailing for me while I'm sitting, you know, sitting doing, this is a one man business, you guys. I'm sitting here with my vehicle, just me, like there's, I do all promotion. I do everything. I do literally everything. So when it comes to businesses like this and you're a one man show, especially in detailing, you gotta take this into consideration because I'm possibly losing $1,500 to $2,500 um, because of having to take days off and because I'm sick. But obviously you're wondering, how do I stay prepared for this? Um, and what are the best ways to be prepared for something like this, just in case it does happen? So what if I do randomly get sick? What if I do randomly have a family emergency? Um, a lot of people, I know they have winter, they actually have real winters where they live in their state. So for two, three months out of the year, it's snowing or it's raining and they don't have an indoor shop to do work on, or you know, customers don't want their car done because it's gonna be raining for three months anyway. So, um, I know there's people like that and f I just want to give my perspective of some things that I do when I can't be out there in the field actually physically working um, but instead some things that still help my business on the back end of things. A lot of you guys may be familiar with the saying be ready so you don't have to get ready. Very 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 valid in all types of business forms especially um, you know with detailing and stuff. You want to be ready so you don't have to get ready and like I said a lot of people in their states right now are going to be starting to struggle because of winter. Are they just going to take three months off and do nothing? Of course they're not going to do that. Some things that I did while I've been sick are posting more ads. I've been doing some back back end stuff as far as um, I got some rebranding stuff for my YouTube channel coming soon that you guys will be hearing about. Um, I've been ordering new business cards. I had merch come in from a nice guy that hooked me up. Um, you guys will see that in videos coming up soon. So. One, I would say save up, grind your butt off and put away a savings just in case, you know, if you only are able to actually really only work, you don't have a shop or whatever, you're completely mobile and you're only able to work nine months out of the year, grind for those nine months out of the year, save enough money to where you could still put uh, food on your family's plate and still have emergency funds. Um, but also while you're doing that time, you're obviously not going to be sitting there, work on your SEO get your business out there more so that way when you come back in the summer you're getting calls like nothing 
get your social media going, get your Facebook going, um, get your promotions going, um, get out there, talk to more people, um, figure out more business strategies or find a new business strategy that you're going to start using uh, coming up for the new year or whatever because you can't actually work right now. These are just a few things that I suggest that you do so that your business, yes, it may slow down client-wise um, for a specific amount of time, but it's not gonna slow down your whole business altogether. It's just gonna be a little bump in the road. You know, it all happens in every business. You gotta take a few days off, and when you own your business, yes, there's so many, so many, so many pros, like making more money, being your own boss. I could, afford, I could take these days off, and a boss can't tell me that I can't. Um, so that's a, these are all huge pros, but then there's the cons, like I'm not gonna be making any money because I am my own boss and I'm the only one that works and operates and owns this business. Um, so it does make it a little bit more difficult um, to take days off, but like I said, I'm able to do it because I own my own business. So yeah, man, uh, that's about it for this video. I hope you guys did take a little bit of something and I hope it made sense. I tried to put questions out that hopefully would get to you guys and help you guys in some type of manner, but yeah, man. I hope you guys did enjoy. I want to thank you guys so much for supporting me, man. You guys have been killing it recently. Um, leaving comments, hitting the like button, everything like that. Um, you know, we're already at 5,000 subs. We're at like 5.1 or 5.2K right now. So you guys are just amazing and killing it. Leaving me super nice comments. Uh, um, leaving me DMs on Instagram. If you guys want to go DM me on Instagram and leave some type of comment or say something and contact me in any type of way. Purple Rain Mobile is my uh, detailing account. Um, so I'll probably get back to you as quick as I can on that account. So yeah, that's about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Tools and products that you guys need or whatever are in the description below. Um, that'll be it. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you guys in the next video. And uh, I'm gone. Peace.